Hey guys, my name is Isaac, and today I'm going to show you how to make your own virtual pet in Minecraft. Let's get right to the design. For this living redstone build, you'll need 25 redstone lamps, 4 sticky pistons, 2 redstone blocks, 7 redstone comparators, 2, two droppers, 15 pieces of redstone dust, 7 hoppers, and for how many items you want your virtual pet to be able to eat, 2 redstone repeaters, 4 redstone dust, 3 hoppers, and 1 redstone torch each. You'll also need four uh, blocker items that you'll never put into the system and 41 items of what you want your virtual pet to eat. There are modifications to this, of course, which I will mention in uh, just a few moments after the tutorial. So here is the design. So here's your virtual pet and eventually, slowly, he will start to run out of food and unfortunately die, which is determined by how many items are in this clock. Every once in a while, one item will be sent from this dropper into this dropper and clearly someone hasn't been feeding him. He only has 16 items left and once that runs down to zero, then unfortunately the virtual pet will die. Now. There are five items, actually, that this virtual pet likes to eat. That is cookies. As you should see here, that fire's there. And then now, we only had, what, 16? And now we have an entire 27 items in there. Also likes golden apples. There we go. And... Soon enough you should see, there we go, now our virtual pet is up to 38 items, and let's throw in a diamond, because it also likes eating diamonds, and there we go, now there's more items, there's 51 items, almost a stack of items in there now, and we throw in another eight ingot. I know, really loves eating diamonds, netherite ingots, and golden apples. Very expensive things to find. And look at that, we have a stack in what items. We're more than halfway there. <laughs> and finally, it also likes eating redstone dust. Because it's doesn't everyone. And you should see here in just a few moments. There we go. And... Now we're up to a stack and 16 items. This guy is not going to die soon. And we can even throw in uh, even more. There, throw in two of each. It's 10 entire items. Now if we just wait a few minutes, or it won't even take a few minutes, probably just three or four items maybe, we'll get this guy to full. Look at that. We're already almost there. One more item should do it. There we go. Once you start uh, start to hear clicking, that means he's full. I personally would suggest taking all the items out of the hopper. And of course, you can come back to these chests here for the, the items that you've dropped in. Right here. And of course, any items that do not belong in the system, like say, a redstone lamp, will not be eaten and will be sent directly to this chest at the very end here there we go and you didn't hear any ticking you didn't see any redstone firing which means our virtual pet did not eat the redstone lamp and of course you can change these by changing the items in these hoppers here it doesn't have to be cookies golden apples diamonds netherite ingots and uh, redstone dust you can change it to whatever you want if if, if you so choose, then your virtual pet can only eat diamonds, netherite blocks, and whatever crazy stuff that's super hard to find or craft or whatever. And, uh, of course, there doesn't have to be exactly five. You can make it a few more. You can make it ten more if you want. If You can make it so little. You can make it four or three or two or even just one single item that it'll accept. But, um... Yeah, that is the virtual pet, so now let's head to the tutorial. Okay, so the first thing you want to do is determine where you want to have your hopper input. Me personally, I like to put it right there in front of the board here where the face is going to be displayed. 
So what we want to do is pop down here. Let's just place out place a line of blocks here. Come all the way back here so we can just place some hoppers. Uh, just place some hoppers here. Didn't mean to place that there. Just come back to here. And, oops. Oh no. <laughs> uh, let's come here and place down our hoppers there. So you want to come to, you can uh, remove that block by the way. You want to come to the first block here, to the first hopper here rather, and place a block underneath of it. Then place a line of blocks, four blocks long here, and put redstone dust on top of them. One, two, three, four. And put another one here, and a redstone repeater right there. And a, oops, and a block behind it. Right there. Now you want to place another block there, and another one down below that. Place redstone repeater there, redstone comparator there, and then go another two blocks. Skip two blocks there, and then repeat again. A comparator facing into a block with redstone dust on top. And then put a hopper facing into that comparator, which will just be temporary. And then another one facing into the other hopper, like that. And then remove the hopper that's facing into the comparator and face it into the other hopper. So the funnel should be connecting just like that. Now, what you want to do is take your sticky pistons, put them there and there, and put a redstone block there. Next, you want to, what you want to do is take a one block gap here, and then here, you want to skip that block there, and then you just want to come back a little here, and place a line of five blocks. That's four and five. And you want to place five hoppers under that, and you can remove them. You can uh, face them either way, really. And then you want to put, oops, another one, another block underneath that, and then more hoppers. Uh, I'm gonna face them this way. Another line of five blocks, and then put your hoppers back there and remove those blocks. Also, what you want to do is remove all the hoppers here so that there's only one left on the end here. And then this middle row of hoppers here that's sticking outward, you want to place a comparator facing out of that. So you want your block facing on the uh, bottommost um, row of hoppers and then the comparator facing out from the middle row. And again, repeat that for all five. Here we go. And then place two blocks in front of that comparator, again for all five. And then place redstone dust on top of that all. And then go two blocks underneath and break the middle block there. So there's a line of blocks there. Again, repeat for every single one. And then put a bunch of redstone comparators, or uh, repeaters, sorry, facing towards the hoppers over here. Now what you want to do is place line of blocks in front of the repeaters and line of blocks behind the repeaters. On the one behind you want to place redstone and the one in front you want to place redstone torches on the front there. So it should look like this. Here let's come to this side here. Your hoppers, comparator, two pieces of redstone dust there, another one going down a block, and then down here you should have a repeater, a block, and a redstone torch. And the tip of that redstone torch right there should be running right into the block that the comparator is sitting on. Now what you want to do is put another block like that, sort of like the, uh, the block that the repeaters are, um, are sitting on, except on the other side of this piece of this line of redstone dust. So put it over here and put repeaters on every single one. Make sure they're left at one tick, so don't touch them. And then put a line of blocks here and then a line of redstone there. Everything here is the exact same. You just repeat it for all five of these here. These are going to be item sorters, by the way. Now, what you want to do here is place some blocks right here, just like that. Or I guess you could do it on this side. Here, let's do it here. 
So you want to put redstone on those uh, on those two blocks there, and on these two blocks here, or not on this one rather. You want to place a block there instead, and two redstone comparators: the one facing into the block, and the one facing back towards these repeaters here. Now what you want is two blocks here, one with a repeater on it, and uh, actually four blocks here, making up a square with a redstone comparator and three redstone dust on the other pieces. Make sure to put that into subtract mode. So click the, click it, uh, the comparator. Click the comparator once and the little part at the end there should turn on. And then place another block facing out and then a piece of redstone dust right there. Now what you want to do is place a block there and then take a dropper and place another two blocks in front of it and another dropper there. So should, there should be one dropper facing into another dropper. Now on, underneath that block there, you want to put another one uh, underneath and to the left. Put a piece of redstone dust and again the same here and a redstone comparator. You can probably see where it's going again. We're doing the same circuit as we did over here. Right, right there. Right, so you want to Put your redstone dust, your comparator, and then skip two blocks, and then another block there. Comparator, block, redstone dust, and then a sticky piston there, a sticky piston there, and then what you want to do is put your hoppers again facing into each other. Oop. Right there. Oops. There we go. So the funnel should be pointing into each other. And then, my, I built this a little wrong, oops. Uh, you don't want them there actually, sorry. You want them on the same level as the comparators, not the blocks that they're sitting on. So the funnel should be pointing into each other and a redstone block between those sticky pistons right there. And that is now it. So what you want to do is just place two stacks of items into this, um, into that one there and then place two stacks of items into that there you want to place them I would say you want to place them on the dropper facing this side facing towards uh, this clock here and towards the um, the big board that'll have the uh, face on it and then you want to come over here to this side and put five items that you don't care about in either um, in either one of the hoppers doesn't really matter. Unfortunately, you'll have this noise, but um, you'll just kind of have to, have to deal with that. Now, the last thing you want, or almost the last thing, is the actual face. What I like doing because I'm in creative mode is using redstone blocks there to have a little smiley face. But I know redstone can be quite easy to get in survival, but if you don't want like that solution, what you can do instead is just use blocks with redstone torches on them so what you want is your blocks there one block away from the redstone lamps and then place redstone torches on every single one of those blocks like that and that'll do the same effect or instead, there's a little bit of lag there. If you, instead of that, if you don't like that idea, is you could use levers. Now I don't have any in my inventory, so let's just grab some. Now instead of putting them like this, because they'll light up all the blocks around them, instead what you want to do is just on on the redstone lamps, place the blocks that you want illuminated, and place your lever on that. Right there, and the redstone lamp should turn on. And then um, oh, there's one last thing that I almost forgot about: is that you want to put some chests. So you want the chest on the hopper at the end there, and then you want five chests here. I guess you could use barrels, you could use shulker boxes, trap chests, or um. Or you could even use uh, like double chests. 
sort of like that, like like that. But I just like having five chests sideways like that. And then what you want to do is pick your five items. So for me, I'll pick glowstone, barrels, um, item frames, flower pots, and why not redstone dust. And you want to just put, or actually also grab some, uh, some items that you know that you're never going to put in here. Remember, all these items have to be, um, stackable to 64. So I'm just going to grab some arrows because I'm never going to put arrows in here. So we want to put arrows in those four slots there. In the last four slots of the hopper, you want to put some arrows. Remember, they are the hopper. What's happening here? Uh, remember, these are the, uh, I think it's, uh, I don't know what's causing this. Um, ah, there, we're missing a redstone torch. That's it. Remember, you want these hoppers to be the ones that your comparators are detecting. So when you put items in the hopper, the comparator should turn on. And remember, make sure there's only one item and not uh, two. Right, and just keep going until you've hit the fifth one. Of course, you can have more than five. You can have less than five if you want. All you'll have to do is just make more or less of these systems here, which means more or less uh, redstone repeaters, which means you can make this, which means this will be a little bit bigger or a little bit smaller, depending on how you choose. And then you just want to take your items here and then put them in. And don't worry about them uh, emptying out the ones beside them. Right? And if this redstone line fires, that is, that's good. It should uh, fire repeatedly. Don't want my arrows in my hand there. Like that. So um, that means that uh, you're alive. Just want to wait until all these drain down to only 41. There we go. And there should be items in here. There should be 22 of each, as you can see there. And I'll just take these items out. Sorry for the loud piston noises. They're from the clocks and stuff. Unfortunately, I can't really help that. I guess you could use repeater clocks and stuff, but you can do whatever you choose. Whatever, whatever you want, really. And what I'm going to do is take a bunch of items, take all the items from this dropper here and put them into this dropper. If there are no, sorry, if there are no items in the dropper the closest to this clock here, then you are dead. Unfortunately, your, uh, your little virtual pet there has died because you haven't fed him. And, uh, yeah, but if it is full, then you are completely f fine. Now what you want to do is if you put in one of the items that your virtual pet eats, they're the five items, or more or less, uh, whatever you want, that you've, um, that you've used here. So, if I put in a piece of redstone dust, you should see. Might take a few seconds here. There. But, look, 15 items went from this dropper into this dropper. So he's alive again. And then we can throw in as many items as we like. And because of this clock here, they will only go through slowly. There should only be one item at a time. There, there's only one item going on at a time. And we're feeding him so much. He's, uh, he's still, he's doing very well, actually. He's almost fully alive, I guess. And there's still a bunch of things in here. We're almost there. Only nine items left. There we go. Once you start hearing the clicking noise, if there's any items left in this hopper, I would suggest taking them out, because your virtual pet is now completely alive. Again... Of course, you can take the items out of here if you want to. 
if you want to take them back, or you can just leave them there. It doesn't really matter. Did I not put any, any glowstone in? No, I did. I think it's just still filtering through. Right? Hmm. I don't know what happened to all the glowstone I put in. Maybe I did only put in like one, one piece or whatever. Hmm. Strange. Anyway, that is how to make your own virtual pet in Minecraft. So now, let's head to the outro. Now, like I said before we started the tutorial, is um, that, of course, you can uh, change however many items that you'll need in here. Say, if you don't want to put in 41 entire netherite ingots, what you can do is, if you only want to put in one, is only put one netherite ingot in there, but you will have to grab another 40 of your blocker items. So, there. So another 40 in there. So there should be three blocker items with only one, and then another 41 here, and only one there. So, uh, that is how you do it. If you uh, check here, it's the exact same. So let's see. What's yet now? Doing pretty well. Only missing five items. Now if we put the netherite ingot into there, it gets collected. And you'll see in just a moment. There we go. It works fine. It works totally fine just like this. It won't change a thing and you can see what will happen when you put in netherite ingot. It'll go to two and then go down back to one and nothing pardon nothing with the blocker arrows or the blocker items rather will change. So um that's it. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed and I can't wait to see you in some of my other videos. Bye!